Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to create your own turn server actually. Uh, if you're wondering what turn server or co-turn or i server is, it's actually is being used for WebRTC communication. So if you need more details about it, about WebRTC, just check my other YouTube series. And here we are going to use a repository called Cotern from a good friend of mine, Gori-Dev. Actually, there's a readme file in this library, so you can read what you have to do, but I'm going to uh, explain you what's going on here. But first of all, you have to buy your own private virtual server. So I do have mine. I'll tell you how to SSH a VPS. So you write SSH, write user of your VPS, which usually is root, and write your IP address. Simple as that. And then you can write your password here or copy and right click on the terminal which i'll do press enter and bam you're inside your vps terminal okay so first of all you have to do sudo apt dash get update and since it's not my first update it'll just do a second and then the next thing you have to do is to install docker engine which i'll already installed but if you're wondering how you can visit this uh, url that i'll provide inside my description section below and then you just have to go from the top here copy and paste and press enter same goes for this whenever it requires an enter just press enter pretty straightforward you can watch youtube series i'm not an ubuntu expert but i've tried this before it works pretty fine so that's how you install your docker on your ubuntu let's go back to our repository and we want to uh, get a clone of this repository so let me remove this and then you have to write git clone and right click the repository name you'll see it will get cloned in a second just write ls so make sure your repository is here let's cd to our co-turn repository and do another ls you'll see your turn server.conf so we'll write nano turn server.com there's a configuration file here that we have to modify so let's start from the top as you can see uh, it says we have to edit our turn server.conf okay first step is to go to line 80 you can achieve this goal with pressing ctrl or command shift and dash you'll see you have to uh, enter line number I'll write 18, press enter. You can see listening port is set to 3478, but it is commented. So we have to uncomment this by removing this sharp symbol. Okay, so the next thing to do is to go to line 60. Let's do that again, control shift dash, press 60 and enter. You will see that listening IP is actually commented. I'll remove the command symbol and write my server IP address here which is 178, 63, 133, and 81. Pretty straightforward. Let's go to the next thing. We have to go to line 158 and uncomment those variables. 175, you'll see min port and max port are commented. Let's remove those sharp symbols. And the next thing is you have to set your password for your turn server, which is very important. So let's go to line 261 control shift dash and 261 you can create your users like this or like this pretty straightforward and you can add as much as you want so i'll just create one for the test so next thing is go to line 397 again control shift dash 397 you can see there are actually some options here that uh, in case you want to block the UDP packets because in some cellular networks, UDP packets are blocked. And if you want to don't use UDP packets, you simply just uncomment this line. But since I don't want to do that, uh, let it stay like this. And then last thing, you have to set a password for your CLI. Let's go to line 705 and uncomment this and qrt is fine for me and uh, yep that's the last thing you have to do just press ctrl x and write yes or y so so right now we have modified our configuration file 
now it's time to build this image and start running it so to do that with one single line of the code i'll write docker dash compose up dash d and dash dash build so if we write docker ps you can see our code turn is actually up and running and in case you want to do some change to it you simply write docker container stop and pass this container id to it you'll wait a few seconds till the container stops this uh, image for us and then and again go to your turn server.com file modify your settings press ctrl x back here and then again write your docker dash compose up dash d dash dash build press enter again and use docker container ps and let me clear this use docker ps check if your service is up and working so to test our turn server i'll actually go to google and write for test turn server and select the second link inside here you'll see my stun server url which will be like this username and password you press start test and you see ice gathering is completed so that's it for this video if you have any comments any question ask me in the comment section below and also if you need any help or any mentorship i can provide that service for you and please do not forget to like the videos and subscribe and also share it with your friend to help this community out so thank you for watching and till the next video see you everyone